Hi my loves, what's good? Welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new. My name is Chika and I'm a YouTuber based in Lagos, Nigeria. I create content around lifestyle, self-development and just everything in between. So if that sounds like something you want to see on a weekly basis, hit the like button, the subscribe button and of course do not forget to share this video with your friends. Now, you guys have already seen the topic of this video and let me just say what appears cheap to me might not appear cheap to you but i do know that i speak for a lot of people when i say these five signs make you appear cheap if you're interested in this topic which i assume because you already clicked on this video and let's get right into it first things first i know when it comes to self-care videos a lot of people say fix your nails look good wear good makeup wear good hair all of that good stuff yeah. now a lot of people are going to come for me for this but hear me out okay when you do something in moderation it speaks class when you see a simple looking lady or a simple looking man you hear a lot of people saying oh this lady is so classy this man is so classy and if you look at them they are really not doing too much the definition of class for me is being able to make a statement without doing too much okay so the first thing on my list excessively long nails like the ones you're seeing on the screen make you appear cheap it gives off ratchet it gives off tacky it gives off dirty because first of all the first question that's going to come to the mind of people is how do you wash your pom pom okay now that's your own personal business if you are someone that is used to long nails and of course a lot of us fix long nails now for clarity purposes i'm going to be inserting the pictures of the nails i'm referring to as excessively long nails so that some of you will not eat me raw excessively long nails make you appear cheap makes you look tacky make it makes you look less put together and just very untidy one tip for me is colored hair now i know you're going to say but the hair you have on is colored uh yeah but the colored hair I'm referring to, as usual, will be on the screen. A colored, a colored hair that is not well blended, a colored hair that doesn't look good. Now, imagine wearing a neon hair and going out. Now, there are people that do it, but it's for costume purposes. Probably uh, people who strip, people that are entertainers. If you're doing it for entertainment purposes, then by all means, go off. But if you're trying to look classy, look expensive even on a budget then you need to wear hairs that are very put together you don't want to wear a hair that is black here and this place is blonde it doesn't even match first of all you must wear colored hair make sure it looks good make sure it's natural as we all know there are people with black hair there are people with blonde hair there are people with red hair not red like red but you get the red i'm talking about so Everything will be on the screen for you guys to kind of understand where I'm coming from. But excessively colored hair, especially the hairs that don't go well together, um, it makes you appear cheap. It makes you look ratchet. It makes you look untidy. It makes you look... I'm going to keep that one to myself. Now, a lot of people are sitting comfortably on this table and I'm about to break it. Fake designer items. Now, listen to me nobody's going to fault you if you cannot afford a designer let's start there nobody's going to fault you if you cannot afford a designer instead of you to buy a fake gucci bag just buy a bag that looks like it without the gucci sign on it or buy a bag that is similar i mean there are a lot of designer dupes um these days and honestly you really don't have to wear a fake designer the people that don't buy designers might not know but the people that matter know and if they were looking at you like here and find that you're wearing fake it drops to here now except you don't care which i think that you should then go off but fake designer items have not a good look gives off desperate that you're desperate to feel among and that is something a classy person never does you feel confident in your simplicity and that's what class is all about but if you feel the need to go the extra mile to purchase a fake designer item that is very classless that is very cheap and it's not a good look okay um there are options for designer items i know there are a lot of hermes bags that are not really hermes um you know you can go for that you can go for something that looks similar but it's not it because anybody that wears actual designers knows a fake one when they spot one so yeah you definitely don't want to be wearing fake designer items another thing that makes you appear cheap as a lady is excessively loud makeup take a look at my face loud right 
but yeah that's fine i purposely did it first of all this is for a shoot it's not a reg it's not the regular makeup i would go out with let's 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 just leave that there so if you look at my face i have um green eyeshadow going on but let me tell you what i love about this makeup aside from the fact that it's a bit loud for my taste is that the lips are nude now you have people who do this kind of crazy eye and still have red lip dark loud lip colors and it's just like what is going on are you an entertainer are you a drag queen what are you doing so makeup videos on youtube millions of makeup artists online and offline guys definitely learn how to do one or two definitely learn how to blend your makeup together um like i said this makeup was not done by myself it was for a shoot but yeah this is loud at least for my taste but if you're going to do this do it with a nude lip or just gloss you know so that it kind of balances it out when you do a loud eye shadow if your eye is loud your lips need to be as neutral as possible same way if your lips are loud your eyes need to be as neutral as possible always strike a balance guys always strike a balance yes. last but not the least another thing that makes you appear excessively cheap and i use the word excessively for a reason is extremely tight clothes i'm always preaching about knowing your body type and knowing what suits your body type now we all have different bodies some of us have bigger arms bigger stomach wider hips smaller hips whatever your body type is there's an outfit that goes with it now if you're built a certain way you don't want to wear bodycon dresses that do not flatter your curves if you're considered sexy part of your body is down then wear something that elevates that part you want to throw more light on where you feel you're more comfortable with while covering the other parts if you're someone who doesn't have flat stomach you don't really want to wear clothes that exposes that part of your body now a lot of people are going to come and say oh self-love i love my body blah 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 blah, blah. yeah yeah okay okay i love my body too but i'll dress my body up accordingly okay so excessively tight clothes are not it guys and even if you have the best body honestly less is more you still appear sexy with, without being naked so yes it's all right it's all good to be liberal in my body my choice but doing that don't forget that if you want to achieve a classy look you really should not be wearing tight dresses that's it guys thank you so much for watching this short video i hope that you enjoyed it i hope that you liked it if you did do not forget to like this video do not forget to subscribe and do not forget to share it to your friends and let other people know that there's a channel like this your girl is heading to 400 subs let's make it happen okay thank you guys so much for your constant support i really do appreciate you guys and i love you thank you and i'll see you guys in my next video